Welcome back to my channel. So thanks very much. Uh, this is all about Unraid today. So I've been running Unraid for probably about four years now, maybe longer. Or oh, it could be four years. Can't remember now. Must be a bit longer than four years. It's a great opera set, operating system. It runs on bare bones systems, which means mainly you can use PC components to run this on, which I think is awesome. It's absolutely awesome. Um, so that way you don't have to have server-based boards or special processors. So you can literally buy a gaming board, uh, um, Intel or an AMD chip, lots of, lots of RAM, good disk space, bang, you've got yourself a NAS box. And it does a lot more than that. You can actually run with, it will take graphics cards um, and you can um, specify that to be used on a VM, which is really cool. So that way a, a VM will have delegated graphics cards. So it kind of takes the remote desktop to a new level as well. And obviously with Unraid, you can very much like have one really powerful server that you can then plug in multiple keyboards and mouse and monitors with its dedicated graphics card so you can have individual PCs running for VM but as if they're actually running on their own desktop using their own keyboards and mouses which is really cool. So you've got kind of a small office and you haven't got a lot to put lots of PC boxes around the table, desks or chairs. You can have one sat in a corner with the right cabling going across and with all this new VM and PC, uh, P, um, USB-C, you can now have remote mouse keyboards and stuff. So it looks like you've got physical physical desks in an office, but you actually run it from one single box, which then splits, splits it all up in VM, which is really cool. I like That's another feature I really like about it. Um, I've got two boxes here that I run Unraid on. I used to have three, but I've got two now, and it's great for um, mass storage and things like that as well. But uh, they've got a new updates. I've been running on, I think one of my box is running on a very old version of the OS. The other one is running current version, but not this version. So this is going to be a good one to update because there's lots of changes in the system, which is cool. Um, now, the new version is 6.11.0, stable version, available to download right now. So check Jack's gear, sorry, Jack's network, Jack's network I've changed it uh, over. You can still go to Jack's gear and it'll, it'll redirect you anyway. And you can see all the basic, what's the, the improvements, the bug fixes, uh, and all that kind of stuff that's available in the new stable version. Um, I've always updated mine as updates come out, and it's been really great over the years. You have small updates, then you have some big updates, and this is one of the big updates, big changes. Um, and it's always been great. So always make sure you back up your small bootable key that stores Unraid on, which is the boot system. Always back that up first before you start applying any updates as well, just to make sure it's safe and it's really, um, you know, safe, safe to uh, do an update. So you can actually roll back, which is quite nice. And obviously save data and stuff like that. And you should be backing up anyway. So I just want to go through some of the changes that I'm going to kind of point out here on the, on the, stable, on the stable release. Uh, so there's a minor f uh, feature improvements and bug fixes and some updates on packages and all that kind of stuff. And I think it's an update to the 5.9x Linux kernel 2. And also Samba has been also updated to 4.17. Uh, and obviously they're seeing some different improvements in um, sim increases as well with that, which is cool. And that reminds me actually, I'm gonna be going over to 2.5 gigawatt networking from home. So a new switch, um, I'm building a new Unraid server. So that's gonna have 2.4 gigabits on it as well. So we have to see what the speeds we get across Unraid improvements on speed. At the moment, my boxes have three network cards, all running a gigabit each, and they go to a big 24-port switch, um, and they do low balancing and all that kind of stuff. But I've never got past um, a gigabit in speed. It's low balance. It's, it's farm print. You know, it kind of sucks. So I'm interested in the 2.4 gigabits with the new switches and the new card will make any similar improvements. So we'll test that out on another video coming out to you very soon who is early as next week or the week after. There you go. So some, some changes here. So the package changes, uh, got some CVE uh, mitigations, the Linux kernels updated, um, processing MMIU state data variables, blah, blah, blah. Um, plugin system's been um, refactored, so the plugin install can be processed in the background. Uh, I think in the past, people have been thinking it's crashing out and stuff. Support's been added for uh, v VNC ports in the VM manager. Um, now you can customize your ports specifically using the XML editor, which is great. 
Uh, spin down of non rechargeable devices now uh, now places those devices in standby mode, uh, and if supported, if the device supports it, and similar spin ups and any other I/O devices will restore normal operations. Um, this is a good one. Display um, NVNE devices. So that reminds me, the new build I'm doing has N NV NVNE devices in it, so that's going to be good as well. So uh, long as it supports smart info as well. There's a kernel configuration options have been supported, uh, the SR-IOV, uh, and obviously the Connect uh, X4 Plus cards have been added, and Dynamic 6 SSD trim plugin has been, has been merged into the Unraid OS web GUI itself, so some changes there as well. Um, primary support for Seed Groups 2 has been added, plus, uh, not plus, pass, Unraid Group 2 or Sys Linux appended lines to act activate, activate, whatever I call it. Anyway, Poll's been added, included into the base um, as well, and many other web GUI improvements. Now, um, the one thing I saw on here, it's fixed, I mean, some of the bug fixes, fixed issues with the VM manager. I mean, I don't have any problems with the VM manager. Uh, so, VM manager has improved, bug fixes, VM logs can now open. And VM names have been embedded with a hash tag character. Uh, fix issues with scheduled parity checks, pauses, resumes, functionality was broken. Uh, fix issues installing registration key. I had that in the past before, uh, but I don't change my key that much. You shouldn't do it anyway unless you're rebuilding. Um, update Samba to address security um, mitigation. Mitigation? I don't know if I said that right. Fix an issue switching um, from the test bench to next. Um, spin down devices that do not support standby mode now quits trying to do so. Fix AD um, actual directory uh, join issues caused by an outdated uh, Cyrus dash sas library file anyway. Blah, blah, but the details are on there anyway. Um, what else does it include? I think this includes support for Windows 11 in virtualization because I know there was talk about that before. On Unraid, I'm hoping it's included in this one as well. It doesn't actually say in the in the in the list. It does say that uh, there will be a significant updates and changes to this on patches, which will be bettering Mac OS integrations, better Active Directory integrations, and um, additionally VM management improvements and better support for third-party devices. So yeah, and, it, and again, it says on here as well. Don't forget when you upgrade, please back up USB flash boot device first. Which is easy enough done as a tool within um, Unraid to do that for you, um, and it's as easy as that. So I'm going to be doing this on these two boxes here to make sure it's on a, on a stable version, and we'll be doing a video to install Unraid from fresh. So it will be from this this new version, the 6.11.0. So we'll do a fresh install that on a new server. We'll be also be moving one of these registration keys here onto the new server, so I'll show that process as well. So lots of little videos I'll be doing all around the Unraid stuff uh, going forward. So that's gonna happen over the next couple of weeks. Uh, for the moment, if you're on Unraid, 6.11 is now downloads. Go download it now, it's ready. I will put the link in the description for you below here, so you've got them as well. And if you like my stuff that I do, and I'll see more stuff I do as well, please buy me a coffee. So it's buymeacoffee.com slash Group. That is the company, I'm putting all my YouTube channel underneath. We are becoming a non-profit for business. Uh, so this YouTube channel will be included in that. You'll find new people coming on board very soon. And maybe in the next couple of months, you'll probably meet Dee. You'll probably end up meeting Neil. I might do some stuff next week with Neil, some technology and stuff. I spoke to him this week about it. So he might come up, he'll come on board, do bits and pieces. More unboxing. Uh, and obviously with the new server being built, lots of parts coming in for that. So we'll do a full build. We'll do a part review of what parts I've chosen. I spent two days researching CPU to use because I want to make sure it's got enough cores on there. Um, um, motherboard supports NVNEs as well as SSDs as well. And obviously the RAM, um, DDR5 it's going to support and various bits and pieces I've added to it, power supply, cooler, all that kind of stuff. I kind of want to make it a non, I don't want it any spinning disks in the server. I want it, I want it to be all SSD based so we can reduce heat, hopefully reduce a bit of power consumption as well and obviously don't have to have so many system fans pushing the heat out because it shouldn't generate so much because these are conventional disks that do spin that do generate a lot of heat 
all the time. It does keep my front room lovely and warm. <laughs> but anyway, don't forget to subscribe, and subscribe, subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already. And again, remind you, buymeacoffee.com floor slash SNJ Media Group. Um, buy me one, buy me two, buy me five, whatever you want. It'd be absolutely brilliant to support me. And I think below the video, there's a thanks button or something like that. Click on that and you can then make a donation that way through YouTube as well. So yeah, so all this will help. More videos coming out. I keep saying that there will be more videos coming out. I'm getting more organized. I'm building a team. I'm fundraising for my new company, which will be incorporated next week. And I'll be doing lots more on this channel as well to grow it. Because I love this stuff, love technology. And I love all you subscribers that subscribe to me. So thank you very much. If you haven't subscribed to me, do it now. And I'll see you on the next video. Cheers. <laughs>